on a mission with the desk. But right now, we are looking for a tractor cruise. Uh, we couldn't make it this morning to do the whole trip because uh, we had a parade with the Bugatti in Arma. But right now, we are going to go try to intercept some tractors. It is time for a tractor cruise and lunch. Kicking up dust on a warm Saturday in Kansas. So about this tractor cruise, this is an annual event. They start over by McHugh and they go to St. Paul where there's a pretty neat tractor collection. We haven't actually been in to see it yet. We might do that one of these days. We'll take you with us. Uh, but they cruise there, they look at the tractors, they get lunch, and then they go back. We are coming up on St. Paul. It is 110-ish. They were supposed to head out at 1. I'm not sure what the actual route is or which way they went. So basically, we are on a scavenger hunt for tractors. But it looks like we still have some here. Hold on, it's a little rough. It's low, but there's still water. We presume that they're gonna come this way. We could be wrong, but just in case, we're parked here, got the Jeep, and she is taking flight. This is Weibo. Tractors did not show up, so they either went a different direction or they're just further behind on schedule than we allotted for. So, we got some shots. We are heading to McCune Farm to Market for lunch. We are still about 12 miles or 16 minutes away from the Farm to Market, but it's a gorgeous drive on a gorgeous summer day about 98 degrees right now so not too bad made it from Kuhn farm to market fresh made let's check it out so we have the convenience grocery section Nice and cool in here. Got your meat, which we might have to come get some from here. Got your pies, whatever you need. And, ah, got your French cookies. And, if you're like us and are hungry right now, we go over here to the restaurant side. Come in, sit down, and check out the menu. So they have expanded to doing supper as well. Menu shot.
I didn't get the order it ordered, but I ordered a bacon cheeseburger with pepper jack, uh, fried egg, and jalapenos. And she ordered the grown up grilled cheese. Which is a really big grilled cheese. That'll be interesting to see. I want to know how big it actually is. So. Side salad's looking good. There's my cheeseburger. Forgot to mention that we got loaded fries as a side. And there's her grown up grilled cheese with cottage cheese. Mm mm, mm mm mm. All right, food was good. We have leftovers. Now we're looking, peaches by the pound. Much better than what my orchard looked like this year. A lot of local made at the Chicken Annie slaw dressing. If you haven't seen our chicken videos, uh, check those out. Chicken Annie's, Chicken Mary's, Bardo's, Get Hearts, it's all good. Leftovers, French cookies, chocolate covered peanuts, okay. biscuit and gravy casserole, apple, cinnamon bread, and soap. Well, I'm full. Ra, how about you? So full. Really, really good place. That's the first time we've actually been there. Uh, usually, uh, it was always closed by the time we thought about going. They have always closed at two. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they're now staying open till eight, uh, two o'clock otherwise. But if you are in the area, I highly recommend you check them out. We will be back. And for example, their supper thing that they do, such as tonight, they're having steak tips, fried fish, all kinds of good Goodbye. stuff. Goodbye. Speaking of bye, goodbye. This is gonna, gonna do it for this video. Until next time, get out and have some fun. Drink the dew, eat the barbecue, stop at the little roadside places you didn't know were there, and be good to one another. We'll catch you on down the road. Bye.